You've seen the headlines. Marston's has rebranded, plus it's launched an ad campaign and a new nano brewery. Despite all of this, they still had time to meet up with us and tell us about the why and the how. It's often said that um, you know Burton's gift to the rest of the world is beer, and we weren't really sort of owning that. We weren't celebrating that. So for us as a, as a rebrand, it was about us uh, looking back in our in our history and our heritage and bringing them into a more modern context. From the design point of view was, was to give us a, a platform where we could actually introduce new beers alongside as well and that we think will actually help us in terms of, of, of keeping the brand relevant. It's been really positive and what's been good is the fact that, albeit anecdotal, is that we've got uh, drinkers coming in and, and asking for pedigree and asking reassessing pedigree. We need obviously to, uh, to encourage a new and younger drinker to come through obviously in terms of, uh, of, of recruitment. We're seeing that already where you're starting to see a younger audience talking about our beers for the first time. It's been really good actually, especially with the new glassware to go with the products. Um, so the guests actually see what they're actually drinking on the glass. I think any business, um, once established, which we're now three years old obviously, um, needs something new for our guests. Um, you know, we need to update, we need to brand, uh, and we need to keep looking trendy. Named after the brewery's postcode, DE14 is a new nano brewery. With a brew length of just 600 pints per brew, it will be where the brewers can get creative. Patrick McDinty is head brewer at Marston's and is also one of the stars of the new ad campaign. I was uh, really excited because uh, this now presents a, a real good opportunity to uh, start experimenting with some uh, recipes and different sort of beer flavours. We've, we've, we've put a number of uh, trial brews through. Uh, we, we tried to do a revision on our uh, pedigree recipe as part of the trial process to see if we can simulate a similar flavour from uh, the smaller pan versus the uh, conventional brewing kit. And Nearly, yeah. nearly, but this is all trials and we actually discovered some new flavours which is very interesting. My first brew was uh, a rose petal beer, so we put rose hips in the copper and then rose petals in the fermenter, try and get like a rose after flavour. It's all about experimenting as well, so...